I got stuck in a snowdrift, and Harold had to take all my mail. But he couldn't help pointing out that helicopters are better because they don't have to use tracks. I've let everyone down, Thomas. No, you haven't, Percy. It's not your fault the weather stopped you doing your job. And isn't the important thing that all the children's letters get to Santa on time? Yes, I know, but... You always say Christmas is a time of goodwill to all people and engines. Maybe Harold was just showing the Christmas spirit by helping you. The next day, Percy heard some worrying news about Harold. Percy? Have you heard? Harold didn't return to the search and rescue center last night. Oh, no. I hope he's okay. Percy dumped his cars at the shunting yard and raced off to find out what had happened. All the snow had been cleared from the main line, but there was no sign of Harold or the letters to Santa. Finally, Percy spotted Harold, sitting in a snow-covered field on the mainland. Harold, are you okay? What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Percy. Uh, it's a bit embarrassing, actually. You did get all the children's letters to Hero, didn't you? Oh, yes. But I was so eager to catch him up that well, I didn't check I had enough fuel to get back to Sodor. I might have to spend Christmas in this field. I won't let that happen, Harold. One good turn deserves another. And so Percy came back with a Christmas surprise for Harold. <gasps> Percy! You've brought me my fuel! Oh, I don't know what to say. You helped me when I was stuck yesterday, so I'm now helping you. Oh, thank you, Percy. It's like I always say, Christmas is a time for goodwill to all people and engines, and even whirly birds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Percy and Harold realized that they were both really useful in their own ways. And together, they had made sure that the children of Sodor got the gifts they had asked for on Christmas Day. <laughs> Thomas found Philip back in the yard, looking sad. Are you all right, Philip? I don't think Toby likes me, Thomas. And he's the only other diesel box cab I know. <laughs> Toby's not a diesel. <laughs> he's a steam tram. He runs on coal and water like me. A steam tram? But I thought steamies liked racing. Well, I love racing, Philip. But not all engines like the same things. The next day, Philip worked in the yard. And took flatbeds to the docks. But he didn't see Toby. Until late in the afternoon, when he found the little steam tram filling up with water. Hello, Philip. Hello, Toby. I thought we were going to be friends. Oh, Philip, we can be friends. But you don't like racing. No, I prefer peace and quiet. Peace and quiet? What do you mean? I mean trundling slowly through the countryside, enjoying the fresh air and the calm. Oh, I might like that too. I just never tried it. Maybe we can be friends. <laughs> Of course we can, Philip. We don't have to like the same things to be friends. That's right. That's what Thomas said, too. <laughs> My turn. Um, 
That's water, Philip. I think you need diesel. Oh, yeah, I need diesel, not water and coal like you. <laughs> Thanks, Toby. Philip and Toby are friends now, and they always say hello when they see each other. Even though Toby doesn't like racing, there are some things that both engines do like, such as the peace and quiet of the countryside. Philip, I'm enjoying the peace and quiet, Toby, just like you. Well, see you later, Toby. Bye, bye, bye. Although sometimes Philip enjoyed the peace and quiet a little too loudly. Oh! Oh! Uncouple me at once. I'm going back to my shed. He only asked how his day was going. At the end of the day, Henry came back to Tidmouth Sheds and found Gordon already waiting there. Hello, Gordon. I enjoyed taking the express today, but tomorrow I'll be happy to go back to doing the jobs I usually do. I should never have been sent to work pulling Goods trains. I think you'll find it's my decision which jobs you do, Gordon. You didn't even finish your jobs today. Uh, uh, you must learn to do the jobs you're asked to do. And tonight, I'm asking you to pull the Flying Kipper. <gasps> I will not pull a smelly fish train. Very well. But if you don't do it, perhaps Henry will keep the job of pulling the express forever. This is all your fault, Henry. But I only took the express because Sir Topham Hap told me to. All you have to do is take the flying kipper. <laughs> but then, I guess the flying kipper is not really such an easy job. Most engines just aren't up to it. You probably wouldn't manage. You're right, Henry. James found the Flying Kipper very difficult when he pulled it. I did not. It was just smelly. I think you'll find I'm much bigger and stronger than James. Even so, I'm not sure. Nonsense. No job's too hard for me. I can certainly pull a smelly old fish wagon. I'll show you. <laughs> Gordon was determined to prove Henry wrong. But by the time he came back from pulling the flying kipper, it was already morning. There, you see. I did it. I delivered all the stinky fish, and I didn't find it difficult at all. Oh, good. You finally done as you were told, Gordon. I must say, Henry did so well pulling the express. He'd be a great permanent replacement for Gordon. Oh, but uh, you can go back to pulling it, Gordon. Oh, sir. Thank you, sir. I can start straight away. Woo! -hoo -hoo. You do smell a bit fishy, Gordon. Maybe you should think about getting a wash down first. <laughs> oh. Stinky Express coming through! <laughs> carry on, carry on. I know you both have very important jobs to do. <laughs> hmm. But no matter how many times Thomas reminded him of his promise, it was very hard for Diesel to change his ways, especially in front of his friends. Ah! <laughs> Stop the Diesel! Not so well, but it's fine. Diesel, whack, whack, whack! Oh, Thomas, it's too hard to be nice to everyone all the time. I can't do it anymore. But you were nice to those ducklings. Ducklings? What? Ducklings. Follow me, Aryan Bert, and let me introduce you to Diesel's new best friends. No, Thomas, no! 
I still don't get it. Where are we going? You'll see. Thomas, you promised not to tell. And you promised to be nice. Faster, Aryan Bert. Keep up. Thomas, look out! And ashes. Oh no! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What are you playing at, Thomas? <laughs> Thomas, you were going much too fast. You have to be more careful when you're around these lovely little ducklings. I'm sorry. I didn't see them. You're a hero, Diesel. <laughs> not to mention a really big softie. No, I'm not. I'm rough, and I'm tough, and I'm so sweet. Oh, who's a little fluffy ducky then? Oh, <laughs> I'm so cute and fluffy waffy. <laughs> you see, Diesel? Nobody's laughing at you. Uh, Yes, but uh, you don't have to be rough and tough all the time. It's okay to show your soft side. Well, <laughs> they are adorable, aren't they? <laughs> oh, cooey! <laughs> nice, Ducky! Oh, look at their tiny little wings! And away they whittle waddle! Oh, little diddums! You try to be tough and play the part, but when it comes to ducklings, you're all softies at heart. Oh, <laughs> gooey. Oh, you little fucker. Nice, oh, ducky. Oh, you cheaters, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs>